Hey everyone, it's Vicki with Ballinger Farm. I just want to do a quick video. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm calling our barn with our showbirds. Um, these are just the breeds that we actually breed to raise and show and sell. And we also let our bantams take up residence here. They've kind of taken over, but they're so cute. Um, so it's kind of a mess, I'm going to warn you, because we're in a construction phase right now. Um, but this is the barn. We estimate it's about 26 feet wide and about 32 feet long, which I know is kind of odd dimensions, but this is like a 100-year-old barn. Um, so we use um, dog kennels for our showbirds, and um, it's worked out really well, nice and sturdy. Um, obviously, if you've got a teeny tiny like Sarama breed, they could walk right through the bars, but these work really well for... And definitely any full-size chicken. And actually, actually full-size bantams um, can't get through them either. So we've got three 10 by 10 stalls along this wall. And then back here on the other side, we're going to put two 5 by 10 stalls. So five foot narrow, 10 foot deep um, along this wall, which will create a fairly narrow passageway right there. But then if you look over here, that's her. These are our new Samanis. They just flew in from Florida this morning. Um, over here we have our, sorry about that. Um, we, they, I basically have dog kennels across the row here for various reasons um, to put, like right now I've got a couple broody moms in here. Um, any birds that come in that are new, we isolate them. Like there's a couple new bantams that came in. Um, Nobody with any obvious signs of illness would be in here. This is more or less for any birds that are wounded or broody or just need to be separated for some reason. Um, but no sick birds will actually go in here. Um, the sick birds, I'm going to set up a couple kennels in the garage to be completely isolated. So these kennels are going to stay here. And then under here, I left a little area um, so the bantams can go back there and they like dark places so they can go back there and lay their eggs um so basically we've got a we've got a ba major barn clean out day we're going to be moving this table that table um these stall walls are going to be in the back of the barn um where my husband's going to pick up the stall fronts now and our little makeshift pen for our baby ducks and geese a nice day today so I'm actually gonna make them a pen and put them outside let them play um, so we can clean out this corner because basically today is organization day cleaning the barn and organization day so that right there is a rabbit hutch that I had wonderful intentions of becoming my bantam house but they refused excuse me they refused to uh, sleep in it so I don't know maybe we'll actually get into getting a rabbit after all but um, anyway well, there's we've got a broody coach and she's actually sitting on bantam eggs. They're due to hatch in about eight days. Um, she's been a wonderful mom. And then I have over in that third kennel. It's kind of hard to see her. Right there, I have a blue americana sitting on some barnyard mix. I'm just going to hatch those for a friend. Um, she just wants to add some egg layers to her flock. And there's a couple little bantams that we rescued. Um, and they're going to come live here. So far they look good, but we just want to make sure they're acclimated to the atmosphere and don't show any signs of illness. So that's kind of the, that's the plan for the day. Um, we're going to do some major organizing. I like to have my barns nice and organized and clean. I mean, I know it can't always be that way, but I figure um, it's best to at least have things organized so that it makes it easier to keep it that way. So there you go. So we'll be back when the barn's all done. So there's the before. Looks pretty decent on the right side, but the left side is a hot mess. So the hot mess is what we're working on today.